Picture this. Two friends both earning the same income. One is constantly stressed, barely making ends meet, while the other seems relaxed, always has money for what he needs and even manages to save. What's the difference? Well, it's not about the amount they earn, but how they manage it. The stressed friend is like a sailor lost at sea while the relaxed one has a map and a compass guiding his journey. In the vast ocean of personal finance, it's easy to feel lost. You earn, you spend, but where does it all go? It's like trying to catch fog in a net. But don't worry, we've got two powerful tools to clear this financial fog. Budgeting and cash flow. Together, they form your financial map and compass, guiding you safely through the stormy seas of finance. The difference between these two friends? It's not about how much they earn, it's about how they manage it. Budgeting and cash flow. So, you're wondering where all your money goes every month. You're not alone. Many of us find ourselves in a financial haze, scratching our heads, and wondering why our wallets seem to have sprung a leak. Picture this. You just got paid after a couple of days of spending, you're left wondering, where did all that money go? It's like playing a frustrating game of hide and seek with your cash. Then, there are the bills. The unwelcome guests that show up every month. Just when you think you're getting ahead, an unexpected expense pops up, like a car repair or a medical bill, and throws you off track. And let's not forget about saving for your goals. Whether it's a down payment for a house, a dream vacation, or simply building an emergency fund, it often feels like an uphill battle. But don't worry, there are tools to help you navigate this financial fog. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks. First tool in our financial toolkit, budgeting. Think of it as your personal financial roadmap. Now, what's a roadmap without a destination? That's where budgeting comes in. It's not just about counting pennies and dimes, it's about setting goals and making a plan to reach them. So what exactly is budgeting? Picture this. You're the captain of your own financial ship. Budgeting is your compass, guiding you through the rough waters of income and expenses. It's your plan for how you manage your money, keeping track of what's coming in and what's going out. Now, let's talk about income. This isn't just your 9 to 5 paycheck, it's every single source of money coming in. Maybe you've got a side hustle selling homemade candles or you're raking in some benefits. Every penny counts when you're the captain of your ship. Next up, expenses. These are all the things you're spending money on. We've got two types here, fixed and variable. Fixed expenses are the ones you can't really change. Think rent, utilities, and that gym membership you swore you'd start using. Variable expenses, on the other hand, are a bit more flexible. These include things like groceries, entertainment, and that fancy coffee you treat yourself to on Fridays. The third part of budgeting is setting goals. Maybe you're saving for a rainy day fund, a new car, or even retirement. These goals give your budget direction and purpose. Now you might have heard of different budgeting methods like the 50-30-20 rule. This rule suggests you allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings. But we'll dive deeper into that in a future video. In a nutshell, budgeting is about tracking your income, managing your expenses, and setting financial goals. It's your personal roadmap to financial success. And let's be honest, who doesn't want to be the captain of their own ship? With a budget, you're no longer wandering aimlessly. You've got a plan. And that, my friends, is the power of budgeting. Next up, we'll talk about how your money flows. Stay tuned. The second tool is understanding your cash flow. It's like the current that guides your financial journey. So, what is cash flow? In the simplest terms, cash flow is the movement of money in and out of your accounts over a specific period. Picture your finances as a bustling river. The water flowing in represents your income. That could be your salary, returns from investments, or any other money you receive. The water flowing out, on the other hand, represents your expenses. This could be your rent or mortgage, groceries, entertainment, and so forth. Now imagine standing on the riverbank watching the water flow. If more water is flowing in than out, your river is healthy and thriving. But if more water is flowing out than in, your river might run dry. That's essentially what happens with your finances. If your income exceeds your expenses, you're in a comfortable financial position. But if your expenses exceed your income, you might find yourself in a sticky situation. Think of your income as the inflow of water into a reservoir. This water could come from various sources such as a river, rain, or underground springs. In the same way, your income can come from different sources such as your primary job, side hustles, or investments. On the flip side, expenses are like the water that leaves the reservoir. This could be through evaporation, seepage, or a dam opening to let water out. 
Similarly, expenses are the money that leaves your account. This could be for bills, groceries, or that spontaneous online shopping spree you had last week. So, in the world of finances, cash flow is king. It's the heartbeat of your financial health. By understanding and managing your cash flow, you can ensure that your river of finances is always flowing smoothly without any unexpected droughts or floods. And remember, cash flow is not a static thing. It's dynamic and ever-changing just like a river. It requires regular check-ins and adjustments to keep it healthy and balanced. But with a little time and effort, you can become the master of your cash flow and navigate your financial journey with confidence and ease. By understanding your cash flow, you can steer your finances in the right direction. Now how do these two tools work together? Let's find out. Think of budgeting and cash flow as your financial compass and map. Your budget is the map, laying out your planned route, detailing where you want your money to go. It's clear, it's precise, and it gives you a sense of direction. Your cash flow, on the other hand, is your compass. It shows you where your money is currently going, helping you stay on course or adjust as needed. So, how do they interact? Well, your budget informs your cash flow. By setting out a plan for your income and expenses, you can predict your future cash inflow and outflow. It's like forecasting the weather. You wouldn't go out without checking if it's going to rain, right? Similarly, you wouldn't want to make financial decisions without knowing where your money is headed. On the flip side, your cash flow impacts your budgeting. By observing the actual movement of your money, you can identify where your budget plan may need adjusting. Let's say you plan to spend $50 on dining out this month, but you ended up spending $100. Your cash flow shows this discrepancy, signaling that you might need to tweak your budget or your spending habits. Now imagine you're sailing a boat, your budget is your planned route, and your cash flow is the wind and currents. Sometimes the wind will be in your favor, and you'll sail smoothly. Other times you might face choppy waters, but with your map and compass, your budget and cash flow, you can navigate these changes and keep your financial boat steady. It's like a financial dance with budgeting and cash flow leading and following in turns. They work in harmony helping you stay in rhythm with your money. It's not about perfection but about understanding and adaptation. It's about knowing when to save, when to spend, and when to adjust your financial sales. And that's the beauty of these tools. They don't just help you manage your money, they empower you to take control of your financial journey. With budgeting and cash flow, you've got a compass and a map to guide your financial journey. So, what's the payoff of mastering these tools? Let's dive into the bright side of budgeting and cash flow management. Firstly, these tools provide financial clarity. It's like turning on a flashlight in a dark room. You see where your money comes from, where it goes, and how much is left. You get a clear picture of your financial health, which is always the first step towards making informed decisions. Secondly, they help you in achieving your goals. Want to buy a new car next year? Or planning a trip to Europe? With a well-planned budget and a clear understanding of your cash flow, you can set realistic saving goals and work towards them systematically. It's like having a personal financial GPS guiding you towards your dreams. Thirdly, budgeting and cash flow management help in reducing debt. It's easier to pay off debts when you know exactly how much you can afford to pay each month without affecting your lifestyle. It's like having a personal financial trainer, pushing you towards a debt-free life. Lastly, and possibly the most rewarding, is the peace of mind that comes with financial management. There's a certain tranquility in knowing you're prepared for unexpected expenses, and you're not living paycheck to paycheck. It's like having a personal financial bodyguard, protecting you from stress and anxiety. In short, Mastering the art of budgeting and managing your cash flow is like having a financial superpower. You gain control over your money instead of letting your money control you. You become the captain of your financial ship, navigating through the storms and riding the waves with confidence and ease. And the best part, anyone can acquire these skills. It doesn't matter if you're a college student living on ramen noodles, a single parent juggling multiple jobs, or a retiree enjoying the golden years. With a bit of patience, practice, and persistence, you can become the master of your own financial universe. With these tools, you're not just surviving financially, you're thriving. And that, my friends, is the bright side of budgeting and cash flow. Ready to start your financial journey? It's time to delve into the toolbox that'll help you navigate. Let's talk about budgeting methods. There's the 50-30-20 rule, where you allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings. Or, there's zero-based budgeting, where every dollar has a job. This is a more hands-on approach, but it gives you total control. 
Now let's talk about tracking your cash flow. There are plenty of tools to help you keep an eye on your money. Spreadsheets are a classic, but if you're more tech savvy, there are budgeting apps that can do the heavy lifting. The key here is to choose methods and tools that suit your needs and comfort level. Don't feel pressured to use a certain tool just because it's popular. Remember, the best tool is the one you actually use. So, let's recap. We've navigated through the fog of financial uncertainty together. We've discovered that budgeting is our roadmap, guiding us through income and expenses. We've learned that cash flow is like a stream, constantly moving, reflecting the reality of our financial in and outflows. We've seen how these two, the compass and the map, work hand in hand to give us financial clarity. Now, it's time for action. Choose a budgeting method that resonates with you. Start tracking your income and expenses. Consider using cash flow management tools that suit your needs. Remember, it's not about being perfect from the get-go. It's about starting small, building a consistent habit, and gradually mastering your finances. Budgeting and cash flow aren't just about managing money, they're about empowering you to take control of your financial future. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel more valuable financial advice. Take your first step towards mastering your finances by hitting that subscribe button. Let's journey together towards financial freedom.